Hello and happy Vlogmas! Today we are in California's Bay Area where we're heading 15 minutes across the Bay Bridge to the East Bay. On this trip, I'm staying like a local here in Berkeley, California, where I'm working remotely from some of the neighborhood cafes. I chose this area because of its central location on the East Bay, proximity to excellent hiking trails, quaint neighborhoods, and unique Airbnbs. First things first is coffee. I stopped by a local coffee shop unlike any other called My Coffee Roastery, which looks like it's straight out of a storybook. Now, time to check out the accommodations. Well, hello and welcome to my English cottage here in the Cotswolds of England. It's very cozy, little tiny house. Come in. Welcome, welcome. So here is the books collection. We have books on the Penderwicks. We have Berkeley Walks and Alice Waters. Chez Penny, her famous restaurant, is down the street. So here I am at my little house in the Cotswolds. This is the Penderwick Cottage. It's kind of hard to convey on camera because everything is very tiny, but it's a little small room that they've kind of partitioned and everything is so well placed. Like here is the kitchen, but everything has like a multiple use. So this could be your breakfast table, your breakfast nook, your desk. We have farmhouse sink. There's everything you might need and especially tea. Look at this, look at how carefully everything is placed from the dish towel. And you open this and you see tea mugs and tea cozies. We even have an oven, super, super tiny. And it also doubles as the wall partition. And then on this side, we have the living room with these beautiful vintage lighting sconces, oil paintings, a beautiful garden outside, super, super cozy. warm blankets and we have stained glass and then squeeze in here oh so this is the bathroom and we have a shower no tub we even have hardwood floors antique rugs you can see they used a mixture of like hanging antique lights Okay, so our host provided some restaurant recommendations, including Chez Panis. Yes, they have apricot ice cream. And all of these restaurants are within walking distance of this Airbnb. Hey guys, I'm walking around the UC Berkeley campus today. It's really quiet because it's a Saturday and there's some beautiful redwood trees behind me. It's very woodsy and park-like here. style building is the School of Information Science. So let's go inside. I'm guessing there's a lot of information in here. Let's go find out. Oh, it's closed. I didn't get in. I didn't get in! So I tried to get in, but it's closed. So no information today. Onwards and upwards. Check out this view. 
They are doing campus tours down here. You can tell because he's walking backwards. Now I'm going to start this off as usual with a little can joke about walking backwards. <laughs> a lot of laughter. A lot of laughter. So this right here is the curion. This is how they play the bells. So this way we have the Greek theater here. We have the stadium there. Up at the top there's some science buildings and also the art arena. There's a baby deer! So I'm walking past the stadium right now. It's quite a hike to get up here, but this is where the Arboretum is. So these trails are called the fire trails. They're really famous. You can park over here or you can just walk like I did. And the trails go through the hills and all the way up. Okay, so I'm hiking up to the Arboretum. It's seriously majestic and peaceful up here. Look at these trees, they have moss. I mean, we're literally like a half mile from the UC Berkeley campus and it's like we're in the wilderness. Ooh, watch your head. <laughs> ah, here it is, botanical garden. Garden. I'm walking through the desert section here and one of the things I learned is that California has the most biodiversity of any state. <gasps> so the cactus behind me, look how tall it is. It's indigenous to Argentina and to get into the botanical garden it is $14 for students and I'm still able to use my student ID. Now it's time to go to Asia. So it is very tranquil and zen right here. This plant comes from China. And we're pretty much covered in woods. So behind me is a coastal redwood from California and the border of Oregon. Look how tall. The UC Berkeley Botanical Garden is located inside the city boundary of Oakland on the Berkeley Hills and covers 34 acres. It is super quiet here. You can hear all the birds. This is the perfect thing to do if you are so traveling. The Berkeley Botanical Garden is one of the most diverse plant collections in the U.S. with 12,000 species of plants. There's so many paths. Which way to choose? The mossy path or the steps? plant is from Australia and it has fuzzy leaves. So cool. Mushrooms. Hey guys, so I found this nice peaceful spot. I've been walking around for about a half hour and haven't hardly seen a soul. And I just want to say like if you guys are solo traveling or you just need to feel renewed, some more inner peace, come to the Arboretum. It is super peaceful. Nirvana, Kenshaw, Bliss, divinity, illumination. Let's call it the blooper. So my Airbnb host just came by and they gave me this beautiful wine and cheese plate. <laughs> with Menage a Trois California red wine, kiwis, pears, apples, crackers. This is so cool. The next day, it's time to get up early for the Berkeley Half Marathon, held here every November. The race takes us through the campus, the nearby neighborhoods, 
and the East Bay. And just like that, 13.1 miles of hills is done. We just finished the Berkeley Biofreeze Half Marathon 2019. We in Berkeley. We just finished the race. So cool. Went along these cool neighborhoods and into the university. And that's our medal, baby. We hope that you get a chance to visit the East Bay very soon. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos.